throughout the history of mankind, there have been many exemplary punishments that were obviously decreed by our Sustainer Most High. Although there are those who may say that the stories of the Bible are allegorical, there have been numerous plagues, calamities, catastrophes, and natural disasters that have occurred every year, every decade, and every century. Numerous people brought to their demise, numerous homes obliterated, vast communities destroyed utterly. The people who suffer from these punishments were all guilty of the same thing, idolatry. Gospel of Barnabas chapter 33 reads as follows. Then Yahshua Jesus said, Truly all that which a man loves, for which he leaves everything else but that, is his God, and so the fornicator has for his image the harlot. The glutton and drunkard has for image his own flesh. And the covetous has for his image silver and gold, and so likewise every other sinner. Then said he who had invited him, Master, which is the greatest sin? Yahshua Jesus answered, Which is the greatest ruin of a house? Everyone was silent, when Jesus with his finger pointed to the foundation, and said, If the foundation give way, immediately the house falls in ruin, in such wise that it is necessary to build it up anew, but if every other part give way it can be repaired, even so then say I to you, that idolatry is the greatest sin, because it deprives a man entirely of faith, and consequently of El Elo, the All, so that he can have no spiritual affection, but every other sin leaves to man the hope of obtaining mercy, and therefore I say that idolatry is the greatest sin. All stood amazed at the speaking of Yeshua Jesus, for they perceived that it could not in any wise be assailed. Then Yahshua Jesus continued, Remember that which El Elo spoke and which Moses and Joshua wrote in the law, and you shall see how grave is this sin. El Elo said, speaking to Israel, You shall not make to yourself any image of those things which are in heaven, nor of those things which are under the heaven, nor shall you make it of those things which are above the earth nor of those which are under the earth, nor of those which are above the water, nor of those which are under the water. For I am your Elo, God, strong and jealous, who will take vengeance for this sin upon the fathers and upon their children, even to the fourth generation. Remember how, when our people had made the calf, and when they had worshipped it, by commandment of El, Elo, the All, Joshua and the tribe of Levi took the sword and slew of them one hundred and twenty thousand of those that did not crave mercy of El, Elo. O terrible judgment of El, Elo, upon the idolaters. Idolatry is the worst of all sins. The Muslim community calls it shirk, which is defined as joining gods with the law most high or setting up equals with the law most high, or worshiping anyone or anything other than a law most high. The belief that a law most high resembles anything in creation is idolatry. The belief that Yahshua, Jesus, is God, a law most high, is idolatry. Atheism is idolatry. That is, denying the existence of a law most high is idolatry. Invoking the names of other beings with the names or titles of a law most high is idolatry. Therefore, every time someone says, in the name of Jesus, they, he, and or she are committing idolatry. Many of you refuse this truth. However, this is the real deal. Although you don't realize that you yourself are guilty of idolatry, you are responsible. Therefore, it's only a matter of time before you receive your punishment, except that you repent. 
Therefore, I implore you to take this message seriously. I urge you to consider the number of messages I have posted explaining these signs in detail. Surely, as a man who has also been guilty of sins, including idolatry, it is my hope that you come to the light, that you might see clearly, that you might get on the path of rectitude and right conduct, and that you might do penance and repent for your wrongdoing. There is only one God, therefore the one God alone, Allah Most High, is worthy of worship.